Hey guys. All right. So I have decided that because I have such a little amount of stuff left that I'm going to actually start scrapbooking with the kits that I've already made and then I put the leftovers in here. So like this is all I have left of that. All those bins I started out with, this is all I have left. So there's cut down sticker sheets. I took out the remainder of these and powdered them and so I could throw that away, but there's just not a whole lot left. And so, um, I mean, there's plenty in here, but you know, it's stuff that I filtered through multiple times and I'm just ready to scrapbook. And I think if I can get through the kits I've already made and then put leftovers back in there that I can kind of go through the process again. Um, and that way I'll have also scrap papers as well that I could add to the remainder remaining kits that are, you know, paper kits that I have left. So I've added in a piece of white cardstock. I'm most likely going to have these for my background most of the time. And then I have it next to me, and I'm going to try to do this in a half hour because I have to go get my kids from school. So I may move quickly. I have this bin here of all the alphas I've, I've cut off from all the sticker sheets. So I have those nearby. And then here I have the washies that I pulled out at the very beginning, as well as some white doilies, just something basic to use. Of course, I can grab enamel dots and twine and stuff like that as well. That's how I usually work with kits is I can add stuff to it. So I have that there. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm going to do. I just printed this photo. And um, this photo, the blues are very different blue from this. So I'm going to probably do a layout. And this is where having some different op color options are good. I'm probably going to try to not do any layouts with this color. Because even if I use this paper... Um, there's a blue there, but it's not, it's a really skinny font. So it's really going to look like whatever blue shows up here. And so I think I'm going to just kind of go with these here. And even though that blue shows up here, I think I could, you know, maybe only use part of this paper that doesn't have the blue polka dots in it and use the other colors. So we'll see what happens there. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I did finish, I know I didn't finish putting this kit together in my last video, but I just kind of went through the last few remaining pieces and and uh, just grabbed some things that matched. I did grab a bunch of the gray pieces from that old chipboard sticker sheet because there is gray in here and then this also has the different tones of gray and black and I thought that that worked well. So this I think I could see working into this layout because um, it's a fun picture. So. so let's pull this aside and uh, honestly I could probably use this too because you have like orange, red, and yellow in that blanket. And I'm kind of liking this almost better than this one. So we'll see what happens, but okay. So let's pull this aside. Haven't scrapbooked in forever, you guys. It's really been a long time. I did some work on my Hawaii album before I left. And then, but before that, it was probably my last weekend getaway with Angie, which I don't even know when that was. It was, um, that September maybe? Early September? I don't remember. Anyway, so it's been a while. So I'm going to be a little um, out of practice here. I'm going to print this on my selfie. And um, I think I'm going to trim that just a little bit. I feel like. Okay, so. Okay, I don't know. It's been a long time, you guys. It's crazy. I really like this awesome. And you guys, I might just have to keep this pretty basic, right? Like, I might just have to say, um, I'm just going to get her done because I have to get back into the swing of things. Um, and that's kind of the way we have to do it, right? I'm kind of thinking of just layering kind of like this. Um, I kind of want to get this paper in there somehow. I'm not for sure how. If I do it like this. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I kind of do it. We'll go up there.
I am just kind of coming back from not scrapbooking, you know, in a long time. I just go with my, what I know works for me, which is layering and playing. Um, and so that's just what I'm going to do because it'll get me back into the... Um, I don't think I need something with... Let's see. I can do... Why is the little pieces? Okay. I'm trying to think if I want to get any of this here. I might do... This is like a dark, dark gray. I kind of feel like I need some of that. I might just... I guess I made her. I don't really um, measure. <laughs> I just use my fingernails and put indentions and that's fun. Okay. Go with it. Okay. I'm really liking this. The embellishing is going to be the interesting part because that's the part that I hope I have enough. Oh, I like that one too. I'm kind of liking that one. It's pretty busy though. Mm, I think I like this one better. Okay. See, cheap paper. <laughs> this is that Colorbox paper um, from Walmart. And it's thin. I mean, it's not super, super thin like I've had thinner. But it's definitely not super solid. So let's do this one next. And this is, or maybe it's just my ruler. Because this is thicker paper and it still kind of tore it. So I had to go on a search for my tape runner. This is one random one I had in my drawer, but I'm not for sure what happened to my regular one. I don't know if my daughter got a hold of it or what happened, but I'm missing it, so I'm going to have to go to Walmart and probably buy some new ones. Yeah, I have a ton of refills. It's not very many um, actual things. Not, and I know I have a whole bag of them somewhere, which is the annoying part. I have a whole bag of them that I put away, and I can't find that bag, but I just need to clean my room in general. I'm, it's kind of a mess in here right now. I think I had it like layered like that. Or do I want that to? I'm kind of liking that. Or I want some of that showing on all sides. I kind of like that actually, where it shows on all three sides. Then you see like the kind of different varying um, colors of that pink. I think we'll do that. So if my alarm goes off, I'm going to have to, you know, pause it and leave for the evening and then I'll come back and just attach what's left. Okay. So, this is fun. And I think I'm going to label it FCA Fun. Maybe let me look at the letters first. I, want, I really want to use washi too, so I wonder what. Oh, that would be cute. Look at that blue in there. This is like the right color of blue. That's just more of a true blue versus a green blue. So this will be cute to add in. I'm going to do that now. I'm thinking about it. Where do I want to put this? Just like... 
underneath here. I'm gonna do that last. I'll think about it. Leave it out and remember to use it. Okay. FCA fun. We might have to get out some other letters too. We'll see. Or here's like a purple gray. Um. Or should I get? I'm thinking that orange would be fun. I don't know if I have any orange in here. Mm, I have this, but I don't know. Well, we'll try it. It's kind of a weird font. Let's try it right here and see. I love um, pictures that I get off. I love that people put pictures. I'm gonna switch these up with the different tones here. Um, there's like it's like pinkish and orange mixed together, which is fun. Um, I just love Facebook because I love that I can get pictures that I wouldn't have otherwise of school and activities that my daughters are at. Um, I love it. Because when they're gone for me for most of the day, you know, then I don't get to take pictures of the fun things they do in school. And so teachers more often now are uploading photos I don't know if I can read that. I'll switch it over. I kind of feel like it should go. I like it. like it, but I think it should go somewhere else. I hope I'm not trying to rush this. I think that might be my problem. Okay. I'll just leave it there, kind of loose for a little bit and see if I like that. Okay. Um, Green might be fun to add in there a little bit. One more color. Crooked. 
with it on the green or not. Oh, I really dislike this font, but the colors are perfect. Make up my mind one of these days, guys. Okay, I think we're putting her down. So it brings then this color over here a little bit. Okay. So, that's kind of actually, mm, uh, that's a different color. And this is going to be the issue is that the embellishments I've chosen for this page kit may not go with, you know, the photos, and usually that's not going to be a problem, but, um... But um, I can see that being a struggle in these last couple that I didn't have very many larger embellishments. So what I probably should have done is went ahead and just, yes, yeah, I can work, is just gone ahead and went to the initial kits I made that had lots of layering pieces and done those first so I had really good solid full kits instead of you know doing the really light ones and then now having light smaller embellishments and stickers then I have you know thinner kits and that's okay I'll, I'll figure it out it's fine it's not the end of the world it's just a layout but this will help me I guess for when the next time I do this to know, I guess, what is the best process for me. I should go under and just kind of create or use this washi as though it's a little strip of paper. Get this blue in here, which I like because it's in here. And maybe one more place. And if it makes me use washi, then I guess <laughs> that's a silver lining, right? Because I have so much of it, it's ridiculous. Okay, so the colors I'm liking, I think I know for sure I'm going to... hope this pen works. Um, you know what? No, I think this is going to be too white. Let's see. I'm wondering if I could cut this down and then use that you know, as a background. You're not going to be able to read them. I could cut out the middle. I kind of like that actually. So we're going to go. I should probably measure. 11 by 11, so we'll do maybe. Or close. Again, I don't measure. I just eyeball it, and that's just the way it works for me. So then I have this, and then I have some fun color around. Yes, I like it. I hope my alarm goes up, will go off if I'm videotaping. I guess I haven't looked into that. I should probably check. Who knows, I can have some setting or something.
Okay, I have 10 minutes yet, so let's see if we can get, get her done, or mostly done. Okay, I like that a lot better. It's, I like it. Okay, good, good stuff. Because then there is some of this blue in here, and then I've, you know, I've pulled all the different colors up here, which is fun. Um, okay, so let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and just allow myself to dig through what is left of these, right? Because that's the whole point is getting stuff used up. And I'm just going to dig and see if there's anything else that might work for this particular kind of page. And this might work. Oh, I like that one. So many of my smiles begin with you. I don't know that it doesn't really match. Yes. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Keep calm and smile on that actually kind of fits. So I like that because it's kind of, you can tell she's like, oh no, what's happening? Something's happening, I'm gonna pop dot. Oh goodness. to powder around the pop dot just so it doesn't all try to stick. Keep calm and smile on like that. And I don't know if this is a different tone of blue that really I mean it is kind of up here. But no this green is cute. Hmm. I kind of like that because it brings some of that green over. Let me see what else I have. I could do. That doesn't quite match. I could do like a banner up here. I really have that one. Okay, I'm liking that heart. Or maybe I can do some cameras. Here and then I could do like a little thing out up here. I think I like it. See, it's just about being creative. And again, these are only page kits, so it's like I have I can use all this stuff or not, you know. And I can say I made a page with it, and I can put the rest of it back in here and not feel like it's you know, like I'm I can use anything I want in here, so I don't need to stress about using it all. Does that make sense? That sounds kind of weird, but. I put a camera there, and then I'm going to, I think what I'll do is, um, like, make us a banner and then just cut off the edge, so you just see, like this, I think. thinking do like this arrow maybe like right there tiny tiny arrow I have a hard time using these really tiny pieces and you know every ephemera pack you get usually you have a good share of like little tiny pieces and I'm always so bad about using them so I'm kind of excited to like force myself to use them and these camera cam canvas cameras I've had for ages I'm so pumped to get them used I think I'll just go like that and I'm going to pull out my enamel dots. 
I wish I have a bazillion. with my new stuff on top and okay well, I think I want to try hmm maybe this orangey yellow color a little bit maybe I only have like one of those use the small ones this is do one inside there I think I'm going to go with the true orange because there's a true orange kind of popping out. And then one in there. And then let's do... I do want to find some yellow, I think. Some yellow. Oh, these are kind of... No. Yeah, I always have like a greenish yellow or this is a good one. I don't mind if I just that there. It's the only one I have though. Or they're like super bright. Okay, what other colors can I use? Let's see. I like this pink color, which is cute. Let's do some of the ones. Okay, only thing I'm not loving right now is the title. So I might, um, I don't love it. You know what? I'm going to leave it. It's okay. I am going to... I put my pen. I'm going to outline the white cardstock. Get some definition. And imperfection, because I don't do it straight ever. I get that on purpose. It just gives it a little bit of whimsy. I don't know if whimsy is the right word. It just makes it, it makes it look hand drawn, and that's kind of the goal. And again, it's a fun, active layout. You know, it's about a fun, active story. I should probably journal, journal on here somewhere. Um, I might journal just in here. And. I just feel like I need more dimension. Is that there? Is that there, maybe? No. I really like this heart. I have one more of these. I could just do another little camera there over the heart. I like this giggle too. I'll get I'll fit that in somewhere. It actually fits nicely. Where should I put it though? underneath FCA fun maybe. Okay. So I like this camera I think facing this way. But I don't know that heart doesn't really stand out. Um oh, I have this. Hmm. I 
this pink heart, which pulls in. It's small, but it pulls in some of the pink from over here. I don't like it. I don't think I like it. Um, so what I might do is just tinker around with some of these like little it itsy bitsy pieces. And um and then do a picture um at the end with some close ups maybe. Or I might just call it good. As fast as what a, and you can fill it in. Hey, like what an awesome what a, what a. <laughs> or I could cover that. Then that, there's really no point in putting it there. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want flowers or not. No, it's too much too red. I think I'm too picky. Okay. I might have to think on it. I might have to go do my evening things with my kiddos and come back and think on it. Okay, this doesn't really go with the theme. I mean, it does and it doesn't. This little light switch. Um... But the goal of these games that they're doing are to teach them a lesson. So I am kind of, and I'll be journaling about kind of what she learns at FCA. So I'm kind of thinking I like this. I like this. I just don't know if I like it there. I think maybe it'll go up here somewhere. And then maybe I can add something else. See how like limiting what you have is super, makes you, it makes you have, it makes you go outside your comfort zone. It makes you think, okay is what I have. Not that I can't go over here or I can't go to my stash, but I'm sitting here thinking, okay, what can I do with these things? And maybe it's, I take this and I cover it with some paper and use it that way. Like there's so many things I could do, but it just, while well, it's hard at first, it's super fun to just say, this is what you have to work with. I know I need some more enamel dots over here. It's driving me crazy. Um, and and so I just encourage you guys to try it. You know, try limiting yourselves and have fun with it because, you know, well, that was the only yellow I had, wasn't it? Um, because at first it's like, oh man, I don't have anything that I would normally gravitate towards to get this thing done. And, oh off the page. That's a little bit brighter than the other one, but you won't even notice. What was that going on? Um, but like it turned out just fine. Like I felt like, okay, this, I have hardly any, any layering pieces and the blue and the picture ended up being different than the blue in this paper. And so that didn't work. And I'm not going to be able to use that. And maybe you're, you can either not be as picky as me about that. For some reason, I just am. But it ended up working out. I really like how it turned out. So I'm going to journal on it. I'll, I might do some more, uh, maybe some splatter mist or something. Um, journal on it and just do one more glance over. And then I will just attach a picture, some pictures at the end of the video. But thank you guys so much for watching and for... Um, I'm going to move this, sorry. And for just watching my crazy little fast process um, here. And the page kit process continues as I actually start to use them and scrapbook with them. So I'll be back with more process videos. So we'll get through these and then I'll make round two. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy scrapping. Bye-bye. 
right, guys, I just um, did a few more things. I added some more pop dots. I'm sorry, enamel dots. I added some brads and some spotter mist and a couple other little small embellishments. And then I journaled around the outside of the white cardstock. And then I lined each paper with that black pen just to match what I'd already done. Um, and I love how it turned out. So um, on to the next layout with this. I'm going to try one more layout with this particular page kit and see how it goes. But thank you guys so much for watching and happy scrapping. Bye-bye.